If the U.S. Congress does not act quickly on immigration reform, President Barack Obama will send his own proposal that guarantees a fair process for undocumented immigrants to earn their way toward legalization and citizenship and fixes an immigration system that is currently badly broken. I'm here today because the time has come for common sense, comprehensive immigration reform. The time is now. Obama used a speech in Las Vegas to lay out a plan that includes strengthening border security, a clear path to legalization and citizenship, plus penalties for companies that knowingly hire those in the country illegally. We've got to lay out a path, a process that includes passing a background check, paying taxes, paying a penalty, learning English, and then going to the back of the line behind all the folks who are trying to come here legally. That's only fair. The president acknowledged that immigration has always caused great divisions, but the fact is that despite having broken the law, these 11 million men and women are now in the United States. And the overwhelming majority of these individuals aren't looking for any trouble. They're contributing members of the community. They're looking out for their families. They're looking out for their neighbors. They're woven into the fabric of our lives. He pointed out that immigrants contributed to the founding of companies like Intel, Google, and Yahoo, and that immigrants are behind one out of every four new technology companies. Now, the good news is that for the first time in many years, Republicans and Democrats seem ready to tackle this problem together. Immigration reform, a promise Obama made in 2008 but never kept, has the backing of a wide coalition of Hispanic, civic, academic, religious, union, and business groups.